if you want mental, emotional, spiritual and physical health, you should practice four Langdanams. Our ancients in India used one very simple principle. They called it Langanam Parama Aushadam. Fasting is the ultimate medicine. I want you all to wait before you come to any conclusion and I want you all to listen to the end. If you want mental, emotional, spiritual and physical health, you should practice four Langanams. The first Langanam is fasting food. Our ancients did not see the human body as an eating machine. Funnily, many people in seclusion are engaging in non-stop eating. This kind of eating will only make you more sick and is going to make you more prone to infections. Eat only when your digestive fire actually burns and asks for it, not when your tongue asks. That will also give some break to whoever is cooking at home. Start eating only when your breath is flowing strongly through your right nostril. You can digest what you are eating most effectively when the breath is flowing through your right nostril because of the solar energy flow. Practice any kind of fasting. You can practice intermittent fasting, water fasting or soup fasting. Remember, even animals fast when they are sick or want to heal themselves. Langanam can also be eating right. All immunoglobulins, which are antibodies to fight diseases, are all proteins. Eating right will mean taking the right amount of protein into your diet to enhance immunity. The second Langanam is fasting breath. Just as the more heat an engine produces, the faster it burns out. Every cell is like an engine that is being powered by the intake of breath. Ancient yogis practiced fasting of breath. They deliberately did slow inhalations and extremely long exhalations with breath pauses. When you practice breath fasting, you will actually eat slowly. Your thoughts begin to become more positive. You can more easily break away from negative thinking. The third Langanam is fasting hurtful and pessimistic speech. Very few people have Vak Shakti or the power of speech to manifest their goals. The more consciously you speak words that are true and cause joy to others in a very pleasing tone, your Vak Shakti grows. The final Langanam is fasting movement. It is not about lying down on your cushion, eating popcorn and watching television. Fasting movement means sitting still, either observing your breath, listening to the sounds of nature, or with the name of your divine being chanted inwardly. Sit still. Even if you can sit still even for one minute at a time, it will bring down the restlessness in your body, it will bring down the restlessness in your mind. Langanam or fasting is power. Try practicing these four Langanams and you will feel great power in your body, in your mind and your consciousness.